Hello, I thought I'd make a quick video explaining my rainwater collection system. I cut into the downpipe a little above the first floor level. I installed a dog leg just above a modified hopper. The hopper has a couple of centimetre section of drain pipe in the bottom to cause a small pool to form, meaning that if it rains too hard, it'll overflow into the drain pipe below. The hopper also has a screen to filter out large particulates. There is then a hose pipe connection that comes down from the hopper into a barrel that filters out smaller particulates. The way this works is the water enters the barrel at a 90 degree angle, causing the water on the outside to move faster than the water in the middle and the sediment to fall to the bottom. There's a tap lower down on the barrel that acts as a drain for when the barrel needs cleaning or is left open during winter to prevent freezing and potential damage to the barrel. When in normal operation, the taps close, the water then leaves the barrel by a pipe in the middle top of the lid and travels up the garden. This pipe travels along these battens that are fixed to the wall at a consistent incline. This prevents any air bubbles getting stuck and causing pressure traps. At the top of the garden, I have a 1000 litre water tank. At some point, I'm going to expand on this and turn it into an automated irrigation system for the raised beds, pots and what have you in the garden. So let's explain what's going on here with hopefully a simple diagram, as at first glance it may appear as though I'm making water flow uphill. The water is collected at a rather high point on the drain pipe and then flows down into the small separation barrel. It then flows uphill into the larger 1000 litre water tank. And obviously water can't flow uphill. So if you think about it as if it was a big bowl, and all we're doing is filling up the bowl with water. Now because the 1000 litre water tank is below the water line, or below where the hopper comes in and the whole system is sealed, water will always flow down the pipe all the way along and up the other side. So the water tank will always fill. And that's how I make water go uphill without using a pump.